And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. It was another snowy Sunday across northeast Wisconsin, but this storm packing more of a punch than last Sunday. Check out some of these snowfall totals from across northeast Wisconsin. 7.6 inches in Fond du Lac, Westfield picking up 7 inches, Sturgeon Bay 6.5, Tigerton half a foot there, as well as Swamico and Clintonville. Some other totals from around the area. Nina, 5.2 inches. Oshkosh as well, 5 inches in Shyocton. Green Bay officially 4.8 inches and 4.5 inches in Sheboygan. We got some viewer photos in from you. We always appreciate those. Debbie Wilson sending this one in of a sea of white in Winnicani. In Campbellsport, Mike sending in this photo, very picturesque look there on the pine trees and then this one a beautiful photo from our weather team member Carla in Shyocton beautiful cardinal there as that snow fell today a lot of the snow has wrapped up for many of us and that's allowed the winter weather advisory that was out for much of the area to be canceled and likely we're going to see these warnings winter storm warnings for Fond du Lac and Sheboygan counties get canceled pretty soon as well probably by six o'clock we're looking at but Dora County the advisory has actually been extended until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning in Menominee County. That advisory continues until 1 a.m. tomorrow. Here's why. We do have a little bit of lake effect snow that has now shifted north of Sturgeon Bay, still impacting the Marinette area. And this will likely kind of meander its way back south as we go through the overnight hours, most likely. And that will lead to some additional accumulation. So we could pick up some pretty impressive snowfall amounts across parts of the lake shore because of the lake enhancement we saw with the storm. So it'll be interesting tomorrow to see what uh, those snowfall totals shape up to be. But for the rest of us, things have really quieted down. There could be a flurry, a little bit of freezing drizzle through the evening hours, but for the most part, things are definitely calming down. Visibilities have improved quite a bit across the area, but again, road conditions are still quite poor and they will be an issue here over the next several hours, eventually getting better later tonight. 24 degrees right now in Green Bay. We're seeing temperatures sitting in the 20s across most of northeast Wisconsin. Wind speeds are fairly light at this hour. The big picture showing this big storm system that's impacting much of the upper Midwest. It will move on out. We'll get a bit of a break tomorrow, but by tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, we'll get some more light snowfall for the area. Again, road conditions will improve through the overnight hours. Tomorrow we're looking good by the morning and then into the afternoon as well. But tomorrow evening, after some sunshine tomorrow, we will have some more snow work back in, but accumulations look fairly minor. Here's a look at Skycast. There's that lake effect snow through the overnight. Tomorrow, sunshine mixed with clouds, and then some snow will quickly move through the area tomorrow evening and tomorrow night before that Arctic blast arrives as we head on into the middle of this week. It is going to be frigid out there, maybe some dangerous wind chills, and then some more snow in the forecast by the end of the week. Notice, look at these high temperatures, very cold. Your forecast for tonight down to 20 degrees, mostly cloudy. Then for tomorrow up to 25, sun and clouds with some evening snow possible. Your extended forecast looking like this. After today, the big story is this big Arctic blast. Lows will be below zero. Wind chills will be dangerous, especially Wednesday into Thursday. And then we're tracking another possibly big snowmaker Friday into Saturday. You know, the snow looks pretty, but that cold air. Ooh, it's <laughs> going to get nasty here. Yeah, so that's our next big weather story in the days ahead. All right. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm. well, still